Okay, so this is the third and final video of my Mega Save Numbers. This one is all about how many possible songs there are. Uh, if you want more specifics on that, you can go up in this corner, there will be some links up here, and at the end of the video. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the thing. Um, so, I did some algebra, again, that will be up in the corner. Um, so I have a whole bunch of variables, some of which I looked up, like this number, uh, little m and big m, big s, all, I, all of those I have to look up. Reason t is blank and telling me that I need something on both sides. The equal symbol is because I need something on both sides. Uh, but because t isn't a real thing, it's just there to remind me that it exists. Uh, so it thinks that this is a, uh, oh, what is it called, a, um, a function because it looks like a function because t is, big t is fine. So we're going to take this, uh, copy it, and stick it down here where n is used. Is n used anywhere else? If it is, it will be giving me an error if it's not used anywhere else. Now that's in there. It's still telling me I need something on both sides of the comma symbol. That being that. Um, and that's probably still because of that error. Uh, this function is uh, the choose function. Again, if you don't know what that is, it's basically if you take some number of objects how many, and take out some, some number of objects from that number, how many combinations are there for I, objects to take out. The cool function is useful. Um, so this says y equals x to the n, because that's the function for... Uh, oh, it figured this out. It figured this out. It thinks it's a function. There it is, it's plotted. Cool. That just took it a bit. You can, if I turn this off, you can, it doesn't turn off immediately, it seems. Uh, that's not a good sign. But you can see every now and then, if I click on this, there's like a little tick there, and a little tick there, and there's probably another little tick at 8. Yeah, there's a tick at 8, and I'm gonna guess there's gonna be another one at 16, yeah. So it's just going up by the powers of 2, which, is that what I want it to be doing? I don't know if that's what I want it to be doing actually. Uh, but I actually do want z to be a function, but I want it, oh, why did I put x in there? I want z, there we go. Let's see if it does anything that's nice. If I turn this back on, so it, it knows that that exists. It doesn't know that it doesn't exist, so that's annoying. Probably just confused because of this massive formula. Because n if little n why is it going up to little n? What? Oh little n. It's going up to little n, not little n. Little n. So that's this massive number. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a big number. Oh, it's not actually all that big, but when you multiply it by that, even dividing it by 5, yeah. that's actually almost 10, that's interesting. If you and you can hear almost 10 octaves. Uh, that's what always the number of octaves you and you can hear. Um, S is the number of... Why, why did I use S? It should be C. Oh well, S stands for cent, and I can't spell, so it's just an S, obviously. Uh, since it can't seem to figure this out, I'm just going to cut. Oh yeah, this is bad. It's really struggling. I uh, cut that, um, paste it in there, just completely get rid of X. We don't need n anymore because we put the information about n in there. 
um, we have a value for O, so if we copy that, so I know this isn't being very precise, but when N is so big, you're iterating so many times that it's just insane anyway. Uh, now this is complaining about it wants a slider T and it wants a slider N. Why did it, oh, it wants a slider big N. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, but N was T on, big T on little T. Superscript cannot be empty. I, my superscript isn't empty. Uh, it'll sort that out soon at some point. Maybe. Uh, where is S used? S is, okay. S is used there. So let's replace S with 5, because that's what it is. And O is almost 10, so we're just going to do that. So that's multiplying by 10. We can now get rid of those. And we don't need these anymore. Okay, it sorted this out. That is a really steep curve. Can I zoom horizontally? No, I want to zoom vertically. I want to zoom out vertically. So you can see it increases really quickly, so quickly that uh, uh, so quickly that we're not even at one yet. Like we're imperceptibly close to zero. Let's uh, actually zoom in on this axis to see how close we actually are to zero. Because obviously we're pretty darn close. But we're if we're like twenty thousand up in the twenty thousands of song and we're not even like the now I don't remember what I the y axis is songs, right? Yes, the y axis is songs given the length of the song. Um, and then the x-axis is the length of the song, I guess. So we're not even at 0.1 seconds, I think that's, that's a unit, right? Are you, is our unit second? I think our unit is second. I should probably sort that out. Uh, let's get rid of this. Um, hmm. I have my notes over here from the previous video. Oh, uh, what is our unit? I have no idea what the units are. And it should be seconds. Or well, maybe it's not. I'm pretty sure it's seconds. It's supposed to be seconds. So I'm zooming out and you can see it kind of looks logarithmic, or not logarithmic, exponential, but maybe even faster than any exponential growth. I don't actually know. Oh my, this is like growing really fast. Like really, really fast. Zooming out is not easy. Um, hmm. uh, so uh, yeah, I I can just uh, keep uh, that's the wrong way. Keep zooming out. I'm gonna do that down here because that's a better idea. Zooming out, zooming out. Oh, where is the next one? We're we're gaining on. Uh, uh, that thing, but I, I'm, I'm gonna see what happens if I go to home, which gives you like no useful information whatsoever, and type in here, uh, ooh. Yeah, it should be. Uh, I was just thinking I should make sure it's using this variable t as the right that's the thing I want to be using it as. You need a numerator for the top of your fraction? I have a numerator for the top of my fraction. Uh, okay, there we go. Figured it out. Uh, I'm going to start zooming out again because it might have been using the wrong function before. But we can test that. Uh, it looks like a similar function. I'm messing with the, the same function. 
that's just evaluating very slightly different. So I'm going to do the log base can, because that's a logarithm that people understand, uh, of the function, and see what that is, and it's still like, you can't even tell what's going on. Oh, no it isn't, it changed, it changed, let's zoom out a bit. If you don't know what log base 10 is, that's basically asking how many digits are in the number that we, that we are asking about. So yeah, that still looks, that, that's clearly not linear yet, which means it's probably, but in, like, I, I, ah, if I, if I zoom out more, it, it just quits calculating before it even gets to 0.5, which is not really all that surprising. But I'm going to do log base 100, which is the same thing. Uh, uh, no, I'm just going to do log base 10 again. Log base 10 of the whole thing. What are you complaining about? These parentheses around the argument of log. I did. Uh, okay, there we go. It figures it out. And, okay, now it kind of looks like a log curve. So it's somewhere between uh, like a single logarithm and a double logarithm. Now it wouldn't matter if I did log base 10 or log base something else, uh, as long as it was both logarithms. You, they might need to be the same, I don't know. Uh, but as, as long as it's both logarithms, uh, you'll, you'll get uh, different scales. So it might look like that, or it might look more like that, but it'll still be... Uh, logarithm, but it'll, it'll still have the same basic shape. Um, so yeah, you can see how it's kind of curving up this way, where before it was curving up this way, so now it looks more like a log curve, like, uh, uh, well, uh, well, let's do ln of x. Well, what's your problem? Y equals, is that your problem? What's your problem? Okay, there we go. So that's the function uh, natural log of x. So you see how they kind of have the same uh, curve, whereas uh, y is equal to u, uh, y equals uh, e, which is the base for natural log, uh, b to ah, y, y equals e to the x. Uh, it's not a straight line. It's not that either. What does it think? Okay, there you go. Very good. Uh, so you, you can actually see how these are kind of symmetrical. Okay, you might act, I think they are actually symmetrical. But we're not talking about that. But you can see how the green line kind of pretty uh, well resembles the purple line. But then if I get rid of the second natural, uh, the second log base 10 on the green line and wait for it to evaluate that, um, which might take a while. Uh, so, I not do anything. Yeah, I haven't written anything yet. That error again? Oh no. Okay, well let's get rid of these. We know it could manage to do it. Oh, X. Come on. Control X, space. Still giving me that you haven't written anything yet. Anyway, so if we, like, like this is a normal length song, which is, say, I don't know, five minutes. Oh, it's, it's displaying it again. There we go. Just took it a bit. But you, you can see how it, it's, all, first of all, it's growing much faster. But you can also see how it's taking off in that same uh, exponential growth pattern. It's much faster than, say, e to the x. We might be able to figure out about what it is. Uh, y equals 100 to the x. That's my first guess. But it's not even going to play it. They can probably figure this out though. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, probably. Uh, we can probably calculate it because um, they cross at one. Might not cross at one, but 
by exponential functions cross at one, and then you have I'm not even gonna bother. But like in a normal length song I is like like I out here like this is about where my cursor is about 180, 180 seconds, which is three minutes. And songs can be five minutes, which would be at 300. That's that's a five minute long song, and it quits like quits even calculating it way, way, way before that. So it it it's not even worth thinking about how many uh, possible combinations there are because it. It's absolutely, it's an absolutely massive number. Um, uh, t, t is actually 1 over 80, so we can just put in here 80x. Eighty 80x, and get rid of t. I'm just trying to put everything in the one function. Uh, because you know what we're going to do after that. So this is like, boy. Song with length, with, with with length x, basically. I uh, let's put this in. Okay, that's just 2400. So we can replace that with 2400. I uh, so you you know what we're doing next. We're figuring out up give, given the length of the song. I uh, what is the given the maximum length of the song. What, what are how many songs can you have that are that length or shorter? Which is going to be this function I have written down somewhere, but it's not very great notation. I which is going to be uh, the y equals this is going to completely bug out. I uh, y equals the sum. It'd be funny if it just said, "Don't use more sum." You're using a sum that goes up to two thousand four hundred already. Don't even. I uh, so from sure we can use n. No, I'm using j because incremental variable. Uh, from j equals at zero uh, to j equals. Uh, x on t or 80x. Um, what, what, I mean, what do you want to take some of? Okay, it's not completely failed yet. Uh, so we want we want to take some of this. Copy that. Paste it in. Oh, we don't we don't want logarithm. Get rid of that. Get rid of the log. Yeah, there you go. I'll get rid of the log here too. What's it complaining about now? What do you want to take some of? Okay, that's not a good sign. Um, but let's, let's see what happens if we get rid of this. Control A, Control X, Control V. It's, what's it, what do you want to take some of? So yeah, it's such a massive number that Desmos won't even bother. It, it won't even bother coming even close to plotting it. So it's just, just absurd to even think about doing anything close to this. So yeah, that's another one of my mega fave numbers. I've been Rowan Ackerman. That's been my mega fave number. Here's a bunch of stuff. Please subscribe. Click on another other video. Whatever. Down here there should be should be a video on my channel that YouTube recommends for you. But yeah, I've been Rowan Ackerman. That's been my mega fave number. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.